Mm. Okay, hey Kate. Hello. Um, <clears throat> um, so I'm here to do a lesson on IPS today. Have you had any past experience with IPS? No. Do you have any idea what no. it means? None at all. <laughs> okay. Well, IPS stands for Ideal Performance State. Um, and that's um, what we're going to be <laughs> discussing today. Um, so that means ideal performing state is when you walk out on stage, you know you're going to kick butt and be awesome, and regardless of what people are going to say, and you know if they'll cheer for you at the end or whatever, you know that you're going to give your best, and it's going to be great. Right. Okay. So knowing that, um, what two pieces did you bring or think you're going to use to imagine today? I have my aria. By a composer who's Dukowski something. It okay. sounds Japanese. Okay. And my Fantasia in D minor, the spirituoso section by Telemo. Sweet. Okay, so which of those pieces do you enjoy? My aria. Okay. How, okay, where were you when you first started working on this piece? Well, I first got the piece in master class because Jenny <coughs> forgot to bring it to my lesson. But the first time I actually played through it, mm -hmm. I was just messing around in the practice room mm -hmm. with Matt. I was like, Matt, I'm going to play this. And okay. I played it, and he's like, that sounds really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I just kept working on it. Yeah. And it's just progressively gotten better, and I like it a lot. I know when I'm playing something and someone tells me, oh, that sounds really good, really pushes me to keep working on it. It makes me like the piece more because I know if I don't enjoy it, that's one thing, but like if I think other people aren't going to enjoy it, then yeah. it's completely gone. It destroys my um, mind. <laughs> exactly. And I know I am also one of those people, if I don't like a piece, I'm not going to practice it. That's um, exactly what I do. So, um, actually my teacher will often be saying, you know, I can tell you like this piece, or I can tell you don't like this piece, or this exercise, or whatever, because, you know, I don't practice much if I don't like it. But anyway, um, um, so, does this piece remind you of anyone? My mom, I believe. Any reason why? It's just like, I get, like, there's like, a loving feel mm -hmm. to it and well who does a girl love more than her mom yeah it's true um and the teacher you're working on this with you like her yes. she gives you good feedback good experience yes um yeah. like the first time we played through it together uh -huh. we played through it in harmony <laughs> and that is her favorite memory from my lesson Aww. ever that's so fun um Okay. Um, okay. So now that you have a good feel for how that that piece makes you feel, I want you to imagine a scene. Okay. So something that you can think of when you're playing the piece. Something that brings the piece to life. Have something? I think so. Do you like another few seconds? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. I want you to give me give me lots of details so we can go off of this. Um, and just let me know what was in the scene, how it was laid out. Okay. So there's a forest mm -hmm. around. There's lots of trees, big and tall, leaves everywhere, and then it, it, it extends into a big meadow, mm -hmm. it's like hilly and everything, yeah. and then there's the sun setting, so it looks all orange, and there's lots of flowers and <laughs> random animals, I don't know why I thought of like a panda for some reason, because <laughs> it's calm, mm -hmm. 
and serene. Yeah. And it's just at the end of the day, things are quiet mm -hmm. and just peaceful. Is there any main animal you think of? There's a bird, like okay. a nightingale or a dove. Mm -hmm. It's just so something graceful. Graceful. Okay. Makes it seem. Yes. And does that does that dove represent your playing then? Yes. So the sound the it's like sound, the music you're making is the dove. It's like a bird song. Okay. Awesome. Um Okay, so that makes you feel calm. You're relaxed yes. and when you play that piece you feel relaxed and yes. calm and completely ready to play that. Mm -hmm. Like you could, you know, do it in front of anybody and it would be fun. Whip it out for a recital in like two seconds. Awesome. Okay, so I want you to do the same sort of describing to me about the second piece, the piece that, you know, is kind of more untouchable, something you don't really enjoy. Um, you know, when were, where were you when you first started working on it? I first started working on it in my lesson. Mm -hmm. Like, I had listened to a recording of mm -hmm. it and looked it over in the practice session, but the first time I fully played it yeah. was in a lesson. Okay. Here. Here. Okay. Um, and uh, does it remind you of anyone, anything, any past experience? Not really. It's just difficult. Yeah. Because it's Baroque. Yeah. So how does it, how does it make you feel, how to think, you know? It makes me frustrated. Because you have to get with Baroque, there's a certain stylistic yeah. element to it, which is hard to get connected with yeah. the piece. I know when I play Baroque music, it's kind of hard to get any sort of style. Right. I know with Jenny, it's all about concept. concept. Um, and it's hard to get you know any sort of concept if you're just so focused on you know, keeping everything in that broke idea. Right. Um, okay, but you do, you, Jenny is helping you in a good way with this piece. Yes. Um, it's just a matter of, it's frustrating because it's a little more untouchable. It's like, one one through will seem like I have a style, and then mm -hmm. when I keep going, it just yeah. decreases. Definitely, that makes sense. Okay. Um, so I want you to sit here and I want to you to imagine playing through the second piece in your head, mm -hmm. but I want you to also be imagining the scene from the first piece. So how that made you feel and try and interpose it over the second, second. piece. Okay. So just try closing your eyes. Okay, so how is that? Is that helping at all? Yeah. It's a lot. Still <coughs> frustrating, though? It's still a little frustrating. Yeah, because I know it's hard to do two things at once and think about, you know, your happy piece when you're thinking about your frustrating piece. But Okay, well, it's good that that's helping a little. Um, my next little exercise was to have you, you know, get up and do some physical stuff so that you're...